Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jack Chang here and today we're going to do something different, uh, not a property review. We're going to measure actually the EMFs, the uh, electromagnetic fields of power lines and also uh, this uh, 4G, 5G station. Okay, so there's a lot of requests, a lot of demand, you know, staying beside power lines. There are a lot of projects nowadays are built beside these high tension cables, HTC, yeah, in short. Uh, is it safe and dangerous? But before we go and measure, right, of course to measure, we have a special device. Yeah, I'll go through what's this device uh, and there's the readings on it. Uh, but before that, uh, let me explain briefly because you need to have some background, right? Or rather a high understanding of uh, what is EMF actually. So EMF is basically electromagnetic field. Uh, it's two separate fields, electric and magnetic. And electric fields are created by differences in voltage. So our home voltage is, uh, as you know, 230 volts, okay? Uh, so the higher the voltage, the stronger will be the electric field and the measurement is volts per meter, Vm. Okay, inside the device data you see, uh, Vm. That it measures the electric field. While the magnetic field is created when electric flows through. Okay, when electric flows through, let's say you got a home, uh, your power, your shipping plug, right? Your shipping plug, actually that is 13 amps. So when you switch it on, uh, when there's uh, electric flowing through, there's current flowing through, that's where you have uh, magnetic fields. The greater the current, uh, the greater, the stronger the magnetic field. An electric field will exist even when there is no current flowing. So when you switch it off, there will be a uh, magnetic field, okay? If current does flow, then the strength of the magnetic field will vary with the power consumption of that particular device. So different devices consume different levels of power. Some of course high power, uh, for your instance, uh, Let's say a microwave consumes a lot of electricity, right? Our oven consumes a lot of electricity. So actually, it will vary according to, to the usage, okay? Uh, what else? And of course, magnetic fields are measured in micro Tesla. You will see the symbol UTP as in Tesla. Yes, uh, it's the Tesla that... Okay, I'm not going to go into that, but yes, uh, Tesla, T-S-L-A. Uh, so if I were to give a simple analogy, right? When electric flows through a wire, we can compare it to water flowing through a hose pipe, okay? That is the, the analogy. And the current would be the volume of water and the voltage would be the pressure pushing the water through the hose pipe. So, to transfer electricity, you have two things, your voltage and your current, okay? So, what are the sources of EMF? Of course, these are man-made sources, yeah? Uh, power lines, uh, these base stations, and at home you got TV things like uh, your TV, your handphones, uh, what else? Uh, microwave oven, but they are also actually natural resources. So besides man-made, they are natural resources. And natural resources, electric fields are produced by electric charges in the sky. When there are dark clouds, there are dark dark clouds, thunderstorms, you actually have uh, electric charges in the sky. Yeah, and of course the Earth's magnetic field. Uh, we talk about, uh, you know, when north-south direction, right, there is uh, electric field and hence, uh, there's a magnetic field and hence when you take out your compass, you pawn north and south, okay? So, and even our body also actually, uh, we also have tiny electrical currents in our human body. You know, when you, when you touch something, right, at the tip of your finger, let's say you touch something that is uh, uh, hot, for instance, you touch something that's hot, you feel it at the tip, what happens when you touch things uh, uh, with your finger? There's actually tiny electrical current, yeah, that will basically flow through your body, yeah, to your to your heart and then your sorry to your heart to your brain, and your brain basically uh, processes that electrical current, yeah. So we have also within our body electrical, and even the heart also is actually is electrical active. And if you go to the doctor, uh, they can check uh, your uh, the heart with a, I think it's an electrocardiogram. And last but not least, of course, what is the impact uh, to humans, uh, you know, if there is uh, EMF? The main one is heating, okay? So heating, uh, it will, it's just like microwave, right? You, you use a lot of uh, microwave, it actually heats up the food. And all this will actually cause heating to our body. And of course, when it causes heating, uh, sometimes uh, we, we don't melt, uh, but the cells, inside our body will die because there's a certain temperature and so on and so forth. Yeah, so that's the background. And today's video, why am I doing this? What I want to do, as I said, I will show objectively what is the reading, uh, 
of the EMF field, I will not say whether it's safe, not safe, because at the end of the day, all those are still very subjective. To be honest, there's a lot of research going on today, and I don't think so we have uh, come to a conclusion. Scientists are continu continuously investigating the possibility and effects uh, of the threshold to body heating. Uh, but as I said, to date, there's no adverse health effects from low-level, uh, long-term exposure. Yeah. Uh, but yes, so yes, without further ado, let me take out my device now. Uh, and we will go through. So this is my device. I power it on. Uh, can you see? Hopefully you can, right? Okay, so the bottom up here, right? Uh, this is E F E field. You can see V stroke M. This is uh, electric field. And the bottom one, H field, is your uh, magnetic field, micro Tesla. So now it's 55 uh, and 0 0.5. If actually you go further, if let's say let's say this is in this direction, right? Pointing here. Yeah, 50, 50 odd. Yeah, if I walk towards my back, you will actually see it going down. Yeah. You will actually go down naturally. So it depends really, it's very sensitive. Uh, it depends on where you are pointing this device uh, and it will give you different, different gigs. Now, here, uh, you know, within the shop, you know, probably nothing from this source. So it varies significantly uh, as you get closer to a source. Yeah. Okay, let us, I think the first device that we're going to test, we're going to test, uh, okay, crossing the road. This 5G, 4G tower, 91 the electric field volts per meter. By the way, the safe standard, in case you are wondering, uh, what's the safe exposure? You want to have a rough idea. Uh, there are a lot of different standards, but uh, I think WHO, the European standard, states that the safe one for electric field is 5,000 volts per meter. This one, the 47, yeah? While for the magnetic field, is 100. So this, if I point up, uh, 60, 70, I think it topped up at about 80, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah? And there's a small magnetic field. Uh, and yes, let's walk towards this high tension cable. So you will notice that uh, the, the readings, electric field, EMF, it drops and increases exponentially as you go closer. Now it's 100, 145. Yeah. So if you, you stay slightly further, uh, it really helps a lot. And of course, it fluctuates. Now it's 200, you know, it drops to 50, 500. Crazy. 726, 900. Okay, I'm going to explain all this later. 1001, 1004, 2000, 2006. 3,000, 3,007. So we are going to that. Uh, we're going to cross right underneath this for 4,005. We are very close to the limit. I'm, but this again, the limit is sort of long-term exposure, right? If it's a short one, uh, yeah, you know, you're just passing by underneath your car. It's okay. So, okay, so I realized it actually maxed out at about 4,000. Yeah, again, it's fluctuating. 4, pointing out, 4, 5, 6,000. 6,000. Can you see? Okay, I'm not sure. Because of the sun, 6,000. Can you see? 60015. Okay, 6,000. Uh, that's pretty high. And uh, uh, magnetic field, not that much. Uh, it went up to 5, if I'm not mistaken. So, you're yeah, walking with the 2. And by the way, magnetic fields is. Uh, why well, it's not that high, right? Because magnetic field is a, is a vector. What this means is that uh, besides the quantity, uh, let's say the figure, 3, 4, 5, whatever, uh, there's also a direction to it. So you, they, when you point like the, the compass, right, there's north, south. So vector is uh, uh, basically a value with a direction. So in this instance, uh, when they usually design this HTC, right, you have two, right? You will actually cancel out each other, uh, the magnetic field, the, the direction. Yeah, but you see, Okay, again, take note of this uh, electric field is drastically reducing. Now it's 900, 800. So even a slight distance, right? You walk a couple of meters, uh, it's 600 now, it's low. And even if you have to point in this direction, yeah, 500, okay? And what is uh, 500 high or not, you might be asking. Well, 500, right, if you go home, you turn on the microwave, you put this right next to the microwave, that's the value you get, 500. Yeah, now it's only 100 plus. 
So standing there just now, just a, a few meters away, is not much different by, compared to putting your hand right beside the microwave. Yeah. 90, 75. So like this apartment, although it looks scary, right? 100, now it's 100 here. Yeah, and we're not, we not even inside the compound. When you really go inside the compound of this apartment here, actually you basically drop to zero already. Now 50 plus, 40 plus. 24, okay, I'm pointing in this direction because we're going to measure here. The reader is here, by the way. The sensor is here. Yeah, so it's 40 plus, 30 plus. These are very, very low levels already. And here, it drops to zero. You see? Yeah. So all this actually drops significantly. Yeah. Uh, the home at home, if we talk about our things at home, uh, as I said, our microwave 600, uh, if you take about... Uh, Wi-Fi router, Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 7, the latest one, you know, 5 gigahertz uh, band. If you put your, right beside, I was measuring, right, it goes to a few hundred depending on the brand. Uh, I tested various, various brands, uh, 200 to 500. But if you put like just one feet, and one feet is like 30 cm, right, 30 cm away, it drops immediately to 20, 30. Uh, likewise, the TV screen also, if you are putting right in front of the TV screen, like one cm away, of course, it's very high, yeah, it's, it's going to be high, but if you move like two meters away, which is your normal sitting distance, it goes to zero. So, okay, going back to this one. Okay, you see the earliest, the, the, the units in front here, bit lah. Okay, nah, zero. So it's okay. Yeah, so it really depends on how close. Uh, I cannot say. So if I have to summarize, right, uh, those who are concerned with HTC cables, I really cannot summarize uh, uh, to say it's safe or not safe. It really depends on your distance, but it reduces significantly okay sorry power off it reduces significantly uh, with your distance in this one this one it looks quite close if i were to guesstimate the distance right now it's zero already right uh, okay this one is parallel if i were to guesstimate the distance to the HTC right this is actually very close this is like less than 100 meters this is probably like 50 meters i would say you know to that to that the base there already so this is how close it is yeah and the rating is zero okay so to summarize my this video, uh, again, I'm not going to say it's dangerous or safe. Uh, it really depends on the distance. Uh, there are natural causes, as what we know. Uh, there are natural sources for EMF. And at the end of the day, the further away, of, of course, the, sa the, the safer it is. Lah. But for this one, you measured 50 meters, actually is generally very safe. Unless you're staying right behind, you know, like literally at the bottom, 5 meters away, which is not possible, right? in general, staying in this type of, of condos, especially the walls, all this will help to further filter inside your unit, right? Staying inside the unit, you are more at risk of EMF from home appliances than all this, okay? If you have a lot and you do not control, uh, if you have TV and your, you, your, your kid looks at it one feet away, your screen you know, is that close, it's worse off or phones right your phones are also you look super close or you talk your 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 ear is next to that it's super close uh it's even worse than htc cables htc cables are safer compared to your home appliances if home appliances are not used properly okay so yes that's about it uh if you found this video you useful uh feel free to share it with your friends and family probably this is my longest video uh as far as talking non-stop is concerned uh, thank you. I really hope you learned something. Uh, and of course, support the channel. Please do support the channel. Please do subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button for this video. Hopefully, this can, uh, you know, this video can you know, reach more people and create more awareness. Thank you very much. And I will see you in my next video for a proper property review. Thank you and bye.